Welcome to the 2.0 version of the eBoard Meetings app for the iPad. In this video, you will see several short tutorials that cover how to access your eBoard site, how to log in, saving a site or meeting type as a favorite, navigating an agenda, taking sticky notes, accessing supporting documents, and more. After you've downloaded the eBoard app, you should see it here on your iPad screen. Just touch it to launch it. Once launched, you'll see a list of states on the left that have eBoard sites. If you click on your state, then you should see your organization. If the meeting type is not public, you'll have to log in first in order to see it. If you do not see your organization listed, you may need to contact your eBoard administrator for this address. Once you have the address, click on the plus sign and then type in the web address and save it to your favorites. Almost all eBoard sites, however, are public, while the meeting types themselves could be public or internal. After you find your organization site, you can log in if you have a username and password. Logging in will grant you access to any non-public meetings that you may have permissions to access. This could also give you access to agenda items that are not public if you have been given permission to see them. Finally, logging in can give you access to take sticky notes for meeting agendas. If you would like to have the app remember your name and password, you can turn this feature on. One of the most exciting new features of the eBoard Meetings app for the iPad is the ability to make meetings appear in My Meetings on the app landing page. This will streamline how quickly you can access your agendas. To do this, you must first make that meeting type or eBoard site a favorite. You can favorite an entire eBoard site and all of the meetings that you have permissions to see, or you can favorite just a particular meeting type. To favorite a site, click on the star icon for that site here in the upper right hand corner. To favorite a meeting type, click on the star icon by that meeting type here on the left. If you don't see a meeting type you are looking for, you may need to log in first to see it. Once you favorite a, a site or a meeting type, the upcoming meetings for the next 30 days will be listed on the app landing page under My Meetings. After you select a meeting, you will see the agenda appear on your iPad. You can see the agendas horizontally or vertically. Use your finger to scroll up and down the agenda. To access information for any item, simply tap your finger on that agenda item. You will see the outline of the agenda on the left and the contents for that agenda item on the right. If you would like to see this item full screen, simply tap on the outline icon at the top. You can tap on it again to show the outline again if you would like. You can navigate to the next or previous items by either using the arrows at the top right or simply swiping left and right across the screen. The icon that looks like a bullseye will show you the goal scorecard. This shows you how the meeting agenda aligns to the goals in your organization's strategic plan. Click on it again will hide the goal scorecard and take you back to the agenda. If you've logged in, you should be able to take sticky notes. To take notes for an item, simply touch the yellow sticky notes icon and a yellow window will appear. Touch inside that and the on-screen keyboard will appear for you to type your notes. If you're using an iPad 3, you can also verbally record your notes. Once you're finished, then touch the close button and your notes are automatically saved. If you need to access supporting documents that are attachments, you can easily do that with the eBoard Meetings app. One of the nice new features of the newest version of the eBoard Meetings app for the iPad is the ability to open the attachments with other apps. Which apps appear in the list will be determined by which apps you have installed on your iPad. If the supporting document is a web link, you can see it in the preview, or you can now choose to open that web page in Safari.
You can turn on or off notifications of the publishing of a new meeting agenda by meeting type. If you turn it on, each time a new agenda is published, you will receive a notification on your iPad that that meeting is now available. Another key feature of the eBoard Meetings app is a search tool which you can access by tapping on the magnifying glass icon. You can search by keyword through any or all meeting types to find agenda items from prior meetings. You can choose which meeting type to search, which date ranges to search, how far back to search. For example, you might want to see that when the last time new buses were discussed or when you last addressed the district's promotion policy. Let's start by saying we want to look for meeting agendas over the last couple of years by item promotion. You can see that it can search through all the agenda items for the word promotion in it. You can see that this topic was addressed in two items on two agendas. No more looking through binders or email attachments. On the bottom left next to the search icon, you will also see the help and information icons. Help will be available on all screens within the eBoard app. And thanks for spending these moments to learn a bit about the new eBoard Meetings app for the iPad.